so much. A lot of you waiting until tomorrow. Looks like that's a good call. Now, it is time for the most DC thing. This is where we feature all the photos and videos that capture what it's like to live in this fine city. And we want all of them to come from you, the viewer. Now, today's comes from Bob Robinson via email. He writes, Reese attaches a photo of the east exit of the L'Enfant Plaza metro station. It's been dark like this for a year or more. It's even darker than shown in this picture now. I've asked three different station managers about it, but nothing has been done. Bob, thank you so much for your email and for the heads up. I will not be taking this Metro anytime soon. Uh, if this Metro had been dark for a year or more, I think that's a sign that place is haunted. I know with the rush hour promises set to empty their pockets, they can at least pay the light bill. Come on, WMATA, go back to this picture. Look at all the blurry faces in the picture. Are those even people? Are those ghosts of all the fare cards that were lost in a broken escalator? And we all know DC has a history of haunted places. There's the Exorcist stairs, there's Rock Creek Park, there's the Union Station bathrooms. The Travel Channel even has it listed in the top 10 of haunted cities in America. What would make the Metro any different? This is the most DC thing because the Metro is really like any other spooky story you read. You enter and you're trapped, or you enter happy and leave possessed and angry. If you see something that screams DC, send it my way. I am at Reese Waters on Twitter and on Facebook, or you can email rwaters at wusa9.com. And remember to always use.